What's up guys, my name is Brandon and you guys already know that iOS 13 beta 1 was just released to developer. So in this video, I just wanted to make a quick hands-on video showing you guys two of the most anticipated features and that is dark mode and the new volume HUD. Now I will be making separate videos for super in-depth coverage of iOS 13, like the best features, the best hidden features. I'll be covering iPad OS 13 in a separate video, speed tests, battery tests, all that stuff is coming to the channel. So definitely make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my upcoming iOS 13 content but anyways let's go ahead and get straight into it let's show you dark mode in ios 13. so since i know a lot of people are going to be wondering right away how you enable dark mode in ios 13 let me just go ahead and show you so all you do is go to your settings you want to go to display and brightness and you will see a new section at the very top called appearance and you have little check marks for light and dark and it gives you a little preview there. So this is very Mac OS like, it looks very similar to something you'd see in Mac OS, uh, just the whole layout of it and the you know check boxes. We do also have an additional toggle at the bottom called automatic and I will talk about that in a second. But first off, let's just switch this over to dark and take a look at that. You do also get a little haptic feedback there, a little vibration telling you, you just clicked on dark right there you just flip the toggle so take a look at dark mode this is the settings right here and this looks like a true dark mode i mean this literally feels like a jailbroken phone and this just looks incredible this is exactly what i was hoping for with dark mode in ios 13 and that's exactly what we got so if you go into all of our applications you will see that they are dark now so take a look at music you can see there if we go to browse you can see the dark background radio if we go into safari you can see we have a dark layout at the top and the bottom with the blue accents for like the windows and everything like that looks really really good you can, you can see how awesome the messages application looks i don't have a lot of stuff in there so you can't really see it too good but every application is now dark and they all look amazing you can see the phone application has the dark keyboard you can see your recents there your favorites everything has dark colors with the really nice blue accents now if you want to get to dark mode quickly if you want to enable or disable it very quickly you can actually do so from the control center by default so you don't have to customize your controls or anything like that if you just swipe down for the control center and 3d touch or haptic touch on the brightness slider right there you will see at the bottom we do have a little button that says appearance dark and if we go ahead and tap that it switches it over to light and it gives us a really cool little animation there so if we go back out now and into like our phone you can see it switches back to light if we go in here again haptic touch switch it to dark you can see it does so instantly so now let's go into our settings and check out what automatic does so if you go ahead and toggle on automatic this is actually really cool so if you go to our options right here you have two options sunset to sunrise or custom schedule and if you read it right there it says automatically transition iphone appearance between light and dark based on time preference so sunset to sunrise is actually a really good option to have toggled on i'm actually going to keep that on but if you want to do custom you can go down to custom schedule here and you can change when the light appearance starts and when the dark appearance starts. So maybe if you woke up early at like 5 a.m., you would want the light appearance to be on. And maybe if you went to bed before 10 p.m., maybe at like 9 p.m., or maybe if you just want to get ready for bed, maybe like 8 5 p.m. is when the dark appearance starts. So now at 8.05 p.m., if you have this turned on, 8.05 p.m. is when your phone will automatically switch to dark mode. And then at 5 a.m., it will switch back to light mode or normal mode. So some really cool features there, some really great customizability with dark mode in iOS 13. I think it is a fantastic feature, definitely exceeded expectations. I didn't think Apple would make it this good but they went and did it. And by the way, you will also notice that the home screen, the wallpaper does get a little bit darker as well, and so does the dock. Now, one other thing I wanted to mention is that a lot of people were wondering how Smart Invert worked with dark mode. So if we go ahead and toggle on Smart Invert, you could see this is what Smart Invert looks like when you are in dark mode. So it looks really weird. It almost looks like we're in like our notes application or something. I don't know, it looks really strange. The home screen doesn't look too bad, but when you're in settings, and applications it doesn't look the best in my opinion looks kind of strange you can see there the keypad looks pretty much the same but a lot of things look really weird so smart invert doesn't really work out too well at least not in my opinion when you do have dark mode enabled so i know a lot of people were asking about that so i did want to go ahead and show you what that does look like now let's talk about the volume hud in ios 13 and this is another massive feature in ios 13 that i was extremely wary and kind of concerned about because i didn't think apple would do as good of a job as some of the jailbreak tweaks have in the past and that made me kind of worried because i was like man if there's not a good volume hud this isn't really going to be as exciting as i was hoping but 
the new volume HUD is actually pretty much as good as I expected. And honestly, anything would have beat the default volume HUD that we've had for years that just shows up in the middle. But now the volume HUD in iOS 13, you can see that's what it looks like when you press it once. But when you press the volume twice, it turns into that skinny little bar right there. I'm gonna get this a little bit closer so you could see. So if we give it a second and then turn the volume up, you can see we have a fat little volume indicator there. But if we press it again, one more time, you can see it turns skinny and stays on the left-hand side of the screen. So it's dynamic and it actually looks really, really sleek and really good. Now I did see a video of the volume HUD in YouTube and it does still take up a little bit of the screen in YouTube so it doesn't look the best. Now I don't know if YouTube's gonna optimize their application uh, you know, to go well with this volume indicator or not, but I actually really like the look of this volume indicator. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited about it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What are your thoughts on this volume indicator? So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick hands-on video showing you two of the most anticipated features of iOS 13. Again, stay tuned for a ton more coverage coming on iOS 13. I will be making a ton of videos and comparisons about all the features and all of the good things and the bad things about iOS 13. So definitely stay tuned for that. But if you guys did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future content. And I will see you guys very soon.